Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Robert White Kelt with EXP for another episode of White Kelt Wednesday. Today we have my good buddy, David Golden. David, how are you? What's up, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, you know what? I'm fantastic. Couldn't be better. Hey, let's jump right into it. You know, let's tell the audience who's David Golden. Well, I mean, uh, I'm just just a regular guy, man. You know, I, I graduated high school, knew I didn't want to have a regular job. I wanted unlimited um, time and freedom. And so my little brother's best friend, uh, his dad owned Prudential California Realty down in, Sa in San Diego, Chula Vista. He had three offices and he's like, talk to my dad. I, he did. I did. And he took me under his wing. And next thing you know, like we're, we're, we're running a big REO division for HUD and BLB, you know, closing 18,000 properties and, you know, just madness. So I got kind of thrown to the wolves at a very young age. So, you know, it's just kind of like, it, it's uh, when you start off like that, everything else is kind of like, okay, well, what's, what's next, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's do this. Let, I mean, that's an interesting story because I was involved in that as well with my family. Let's tell us what led you to EXP. Uh, well, EXP was um, really, I wasn't even really looking for it. I just, I just knew that there was something else out there for me. And um, I was at Keller Williams and I had been a team leader. I had built an office as a team leader. I had a big team. So I had a, I had a team of 12. I was doing a lot of REO. So I had done that too. And then I came back as an owner. You know, I had just done all the things that Keller Williams kind of offered. They were the best business model, in my opinion, before EXP came out, you know, because they had that residual passive stuff too. Uh, and I was like, this is not, it's not getting me to where I want to go. I've been in real estate now 28 years. And, uh, and I didn't want to keep on that hamster wheel, right? It was like, I'm building a team, then they get good and they leave. You know, I'm building an office, then we get lawsuits for, you know, silly things. And it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of drama and you're babysitting a bunch of, you know, trying to herd cats. Like it, it's, it, none of it was fun anymore. It was kind of like all, it was just like a lot of work and it didn't give me the time freedom that I was, uh, you know, originally seeking. Here comes Rosie Rodriguez. And she's like, check out this company called EXP Realty. I'm like, EXP, what? What are you talking about? And so, you know, she's like, watch your, watch this video. And I'm like, I don't want to watch your stupid video. And um, so I ignored her and she finally kept on harassing me about it. She's like, have you seen the video? I'm like, eh, yeah, I kind of saw it. She's like, have you seen it? Like, can you answer me what, what you saw? I'm like, I'll watch it again, you know, and I watched it a second time. And then I finally watched it a third time. And the third time it was kind of like, Poof. I was like, oh, whoa, this could actually be something different. You know, it's like, everybody's like selling you apples and here are some oranges. Right. And I was like, Ooh, oranges. I've been looking for oranges. Right. So it was, it was uh, every other brokerage is the same. Essentially. They're all the same. Yeah. yeah. They're all the same. Sell more houses, get paid. Don't sell houses. Don't get paid. Yeah. Amen. Here it was like, we'll talk to agents and sell houses and then maybe get your money back and then also get a bunch of equity in the company and the brokerage as a whole without having to have the day-to-day -day running of it. So be an owner, but not be the broker and not have to deal with the liability or the overhead. That sounds interesting. Oh, and I can make some passive residual cash flow. Uh, sign me up. You know, that was kind of like how it happened. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Robert Kiyosaki fan. And if you know the cash flow quadrant, you know that the, on the left side of the quadrant, there's the S and the E which is self-employed and employee quadrant. And that's where the 95% live. That's where the, uh, the middle class and the poor live. And on the right side is the investor, the I and the B quadrant. And that's where the rich live, the 5%. And I, want, I wanted to be on the right side of that quadrant. And so I knew I wanted um, to build a business, a real business, not a real estate business where you still have to be there. One that you could walk away from and it still grows without you. That's a real business. Um, if you can't walk away from your business for a year and come back and it grows, that's not a business. That's, that's, a, that's a high paying job. So I wanted a business, the B quadrant, which to me was a revenue share portion of the company, which was that passive income. And then I wanted to be an investor, which was the stock award program that EXP had. So no other brokerage really put you on the right side of the quadrant. They all kind of made you more, you know, bigger S's. And so for me to find it, to finally find a real estate company, that get that, got it. And was like, oh my God, we got to, we got to give agents what they really need. Cause otherwise you're going to work till you're dead. Like you're going to literally have open house signs out and you're going to be 75 years old, still selling houses. And it's like selling houses is all great. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with selling houses. I, I love selling houses. Right? I just bought one today. But I, I'm like, I don't want to do this when I'm 70. You know, so so for me, it was like, give me some sort of an exit plan. It doesn't have to be a, a three year, five year plan. It could be a 10 year plan. I don't care. Like I've been doing this for almost three decades. I just wanted a plan in place, like start with the end in mind. Right. Yeah. So what's the end goal? And then how do I backtrack from that? And with my real estate businesses, I wasn't really able to do that because it was always, you have to keep selling or else you don't make money. You're only as good as the last transaction. 
that's it. Yeah, so for yeah. me, that was it. I was like, I, I got to figure out a way out of that cycle. It's it's like, I'm done. I'm done. I've done this for too many years to, to keep doing it. And that's the problem, I think, with most, most agents. They don't, they don't get this yet because they haven't done it long enough. But once you do it long enough, you're like, okay, that was all fun and fun and great. But like, what's next? Right. Yeah. I don't want to do this for another 40 years. So with that said, I just, I was on the, a, a similar call like this with Gene Frederick. And he yeah. was saying, I said, Gene, <clears throat> give me the top three things about EXP that agents must hear about. He goes, Robert, I've got a hundred things. I said, well, let's just narrow it down to three and we'll get back on another call. So yeah. David, the question to you is this, what are the three things about EXP that inspire you the most? Uh, so for me, um, so I have a little bit of an issue with my, with my uh, C7 in my neck, right? My spine. And, um, and I've had two heart ablations in my, in my, in my life. So I've gone through periods where I thought I was going to die. And, um, and my health insurance was about 1200, 1300 bucks a month. Wow. It was crazy high. And so for a long time, I just didn't have health insurance because I just really couldn't afford to pay that anymore. So I was worried about my health. And if something happened to me, I'd be in big, big trouble. And, um, and, uh, one of the things that I saw with EXP was they, they offered healthcare and they didn't offer it when I first joined, but now they do. So now when I'm looking back at the opportunity, I'm like, damn, the healthcare thing. I pay, now I paid 400, I think I paid $432 a month for my healthcare program. It's an HSA. So I could actually pick whichever doctor I want. I don't have to worry about in network, out of network, none of that stuff. And then I've got right now I've been paying in for what, what, no, however long a year or whatever it's been. And I finally had to go to the doctor. I went actually today to get a, to get an epidural in my, in my spinal cord, um, steroid shot. But in the past, I would have had to gone to a general practitioner, then gone to a, then get a referral to a specialist, then get them to refer me to whoever they need to refer me to, and then schedule an MRI and then schedule. Dude, I was, I called my doctor on Thursday of last week, Thursday, called the doctor, went in to see him, took x-rays. It wasn't my shoulder. It wasn't my tricep. It was actually my, my, my neck took the x-ray was, was done with the x-ray. He's like, it's your neck. Sent me to a guy to do an MRI, he put me on six days of steroids, sent me to the guy to do an MRI. I was in the MRI five days later. And then the, the following day, this morning, I went in for the, for the injection in my neck and now I'm feeling a lot better. So, and, and it cost me $450 for the MRI and $222 for the shot. So I already have almost $5,000 in my HSA account. That's tax-free going in and tax-free coming out. So I use that debit card and paid for it as a cash payment. So I don't need to go through all the hoops of the insurance companies. And there's my health insurance. Like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, people do not understand how important this is. And if you're a realtor and don't have health insurance or, or trying to figure this out, Dude, this is a big, big benefit, big okay. benefit. So Huge. I would say, I would say number one at this point, like before it was, it would have been a different answer, but now experience what I'm, what I'm, what I'm experiencing today, health insurance is massive for us. Um, two is the equity, of course, like the stock awards program. You know, you recruit, you recruit somebody, you get a stock award, you, you hit your first deal of the year, you get stock awards, you cap, you get stock awards. Um, you know, you, you hit icon agent and you get all your money back in stock awards. I mean, that's, that's a, that's just a, that's just an amazing thing to have it, to actually be doing real estate for 10 years, walk away and have a million or two or whatever in ownership of the brokerage. That's, that's awesome. You don't get that anywhere else. And then of course the revenue share, like, you know, I won't, I won't give you numbers, but um, I don't think we're allowed to share those, but at the end of the day, like I'm, all my bills are paid. I just bought a $1.9 million house in Scottsdale um, and the payment will be one tenth of what I make in residuals. That's so, uh, that's, that, that's, that's a, a big deal, man. That's a big, that's big, a big deal. deal. Yeah. Big, big deal. So for me, it's all about freedom, man. And, and residual income. Once you, once you understand residuals, um, linear income just doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. And, and once you, once you get ownership, uh, being an employee or working for someone else doesn't really make sense anymore, but that's the journey to an entrepreneur, right? Like, you're, you're a real estate agent. Um, you're an agent and that's great. But then you want to build a business and then you want to be, become an investor. Like you have to have steps. You can't just stay as a real estate agent. You got to grow. So you got to grow to business owner, 
investor. And I then, and then of course, it. take care of your health, man, because without your health, yeah. nothing matters. Nothing matters, dude. Like, I don't care how much money you got. If you can't move or you're, you're stuck on a bed, I don't care how nice your house is or how beautiful your car is or how gorgeous your wife is. Like, none of that matters anymore. Yeah. So, Amen. So, this, so you, you've dropped some serious nuggets. So agents that are watching this really need to pay attention. So what's the message that we want to tell the agent that's tuning in? What's the message to them? Do your due diligence. Like ask the tough questions. Don't be lazy. Don't be nonchalant about this. This is your, this is your career. I mean, this is not just a game, right? This is, this is you, your family, a legacy. This is your, your kids. This is, this is everything, right? So, so treat it with the respect it deserves. Don't just stay at your company because you like your broker or because you don't want to move your, your, you know, you don't want to get new listing signs, like, <laughs> like grow up, be a business owner, look at the opportunity in front of you. And, and in the beginning, people didn't get it right. When I joined, there was only 6,000 agents. Now there's like, we're getting close to 90, right? 90,000. Yeah. yeah. So people thought I was crazy. They thought I didn't understand, but, but until, and until people actually like studied the business model, even not even me, right. I watched the video twice and didn't get it. It took me the third time to watch it, to go, ah, now I get it. Yeah. And when I went to Mexico, you know, I was watching Rob Flick do a wealth chart presentation in the middle of it. I just started crying. I just started crying, hugged my sponsor. I was like, thank you so much. You have no idea what you've done for me in my life yeah. because she changed my life. The person that introduces you to EXP will change your life. Amen to that, brother. You should be thanking them, not, not be annoyed because they're calling you and telling you about EXP and you're like, oh, leave me alone. You should be <laughs> excited and grateful that they're actually love you and care enough about you to show you this so you can have the same, the same reality for your life. Well, I'll tell you what, you dropped some good Nothing. stuff on us, man. I tell you, David, I appreciate your time. And uh, you heard it here first, guys. This is Robert Weichelt for another episode of Weichelt Wednesday with my good buddy, David Golden. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you very much. My pleasure, bro.